see 42 minutes of, uh, of the cut footage that came out of Namibia. Since then, we've obviously done a big pickup shoot in Sydney last year that we haven't seen cut in. Um, but the, the stuff we saw is most interesting uh, because of that theory of George's um, of frame rates and length of shots, um, but also the fact that compositionally, whatever was the centre point of that shot had to be in the centre of frame. So in the faster cutting that he's got, your eye won't have to shift on an anamorphic frame, won't have to shift to find the next subject when you've only got 1.8 seconds of time to do that. So it, it's a great theory. It came up once on a TV show that I was operating on 100 years ago and that theory of not having to move your eyes and being able to fast cut and it just goes bang, 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 takes you into it. And that is basically the whole of the film. You know, we, we, all we would hear all the time on the comms was, was uh, suggesting a camera was to say, was George saying, put the crosshairs on a nose, put the crosshairs on a nose, or in our case it was a red dot, put the red dot on a nose. And it didn't matter whether you're in the truck with, you know, Charlize there driving and you've got three gorgeous girls there, you didn't offset to, to grab any, any information in the background. You put the crosshairs on Charlize's nose and your camera had to be in the centre. He's very, he's very disciplined that way. Everything is symmetrical with George. But so obviously that goes against the grain, you know, of a, tra of a trained camera operator, especially when you're shooting two, three, five to one, you know, we've got with all that room on the sides, you're not trained to put the subject in the middle of the, in the middle of the frame. So I think it was a bit of a battle early on for the operators to realise that uh, this is what was required. And George never explained, I don't think, did he? Why, why he wanted to do that? No, it came out later, yeah, that, that, that it was in the editing that he knew he was going to cut as fast as he could but not lose information on every shot that, that happens with other films. That, that every shot had to pay, pay its way and progress the film and be understand, understandable. So it, it's, a, it, it's a great theory and I'm dying to see the whole film, I must confess, to see how that theory works. That